Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to uh, solve and graph uh, this, compound or this compound inequality with or. Now remember, or, it's gonna be, all we have to do is it's gonna be one uh, solution or the other. So we're gonna have to make sure we include both of them. So I have two x minus three is less than or equal to negative four, or three x plus one is greater than or equal to four. So when solving a compound inequality, the main important thing is since we have already separated, solve each one separately. So I'm going to solve them just like, any, just like linear inequalities using my inverse operations. Why am I adding 2? I want to add 3. So I have 2x is less than or equal to negative 1. Divide by 2, divide by 2. x is less than or equal to negative 1 half. And then over here, I just subtract 1, subtract 1. So I have 3x is greater than or equal to 3. And then divide by 3, divide by 3. x is greater than or equal to 1. OK, so now I can go ahead and graph um, the solution. And basically, let's say here's 0, 1, 2, negative 1, negative 2. So basically, when I'm going ahead and graphing this, um, at each of these values, I'm going to make a nice big dot. right? 1 half is halfway, you know, right in between there. Um, since this is less than or equal to, it's going to be, it's going to be true. So therefore, I shade it in. Since this is greater than or equal to, it's going to be true at that value as well. So it's a part of the solution. Now, as far as the grading, uh, or as far as shading where are all my solutions, just use test points. I'll use test point here, and I'll use 2. So that's negative uh, 1 is less than or equal to negative 1 half. Is negative 1 less than or equal to negative 1 half? That's true. So therefore, I shade to the left. <coughs> is 2 greater than or equal to 1? That's true. So I shade this one to the right. And a lot of times, just to make sure you didn't make a mistake, um, I would choose a third test point in between them. And you can see for both of these equations, when I use the test point 0, it's going to be false. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you graph um, and solve a compound inequality. Thanks.